All right, guys. Um, it is right 11 o'clock at night on the dot, and I've been dying to do uh, this video of a brand new pedal that I have that uh, you probably already saw the uh, um, the kind of the unboxing of it. This is going to be my initial impressions of the pedal. Uh, as you can see, it's the Joyo Ultimate Drive. And I've heard a lot of great things about this. And um, by the way, on the last pedal, I, or the last video where I talked about, you know, I had the screenshot and all that where I talked about the unboxing, this does have a loud switch, which is good. I didn't think it did. I just didn't push it down hard enough. And um, I'm not using the battery. I'm actually using a um, Godlike power supply on the top here. The battery I'm trying to save for when I sell my MXR pedal so that it'll be a brand new battery for the person that buys it. So right now, let's get right into the review. I'm going through GarageBand, trying to get it as clean of a signal as I can. Right now, uh, GarageBand is letting me, you know, I, that way I can add chorus and flanger later if I need it. Right now, here is the sound of the guitar just by itself. I'm going to go ahead and turn the input track up just a hair. And this is the guitar just by itself with no effects, no amp modeling or anything through GarageBand. Okay, but I'm going to have to go through some modeling to make it sound a little better. And that's going to be right here. For some reason we have some feedback going on there, sounds like. I think it's because of the input. I'm going to turn the input down a bit. may also be the fact that I'm recording. I'm not sure. No, my bad. It's the... Uh, it's the five way switch here. Now we're going through the amp model effect. I'm trying to get it as close to the original sound as possible. Okay, so there that is. I don't have all that it has is reverb and a little compression, I think. So once again, the original one sounds like this. So this does have a little bit of crunch, but uh, I don't know if that's as clean as I can get it or not. There was one on here that was pretty clean, but it was a little tinny for me. And you're going to see a little bit of a delay in, in when I'm picking this because I'm changing amp channels and things like that. So basically, see that's a little teeny. So I'm just gonna go back to what I had, uh, which was right here, I think. That sounds okay, let's see here. blackface combo let's try it out all right so let's go ahead and get my audio settings back to where I won't have a delay here okay so that's as good as it gets all right so here's what we're gonna do I haven't even tried this pedal out I haven't even turned it on I turn it on to make sure it's working but I haven't even turned it on and put it through the guitar or anything so you're gonna hear this right when I do and this like I said is my initial impressions of it we're just gonna go through the, uh, the knobs we're going to tweak a little bit. We'll see what it sounds like so we can hear it. Later on, I'll do a video of comparing this to the MXR uh, distortion pedal and the um, Ibanez Tube Screamer that I have. So we'll compare those later on. That video will, will come shortly after this one. So let's, without further ado, let's get into this video, all right? And I have no idea whether I'm in standard tuning or not. I didn't want to fool with tuning the thing. So hopefully it's good enough, all right? It's, it keeps this tune pretty good. 
don't know if that's standard or not. Uh, just, just let's see what uh, exactly GarageBand thinks it is. GarageBand thinks it's pretty much on in tune, so that's good. All right, so here we go. Let's go to the ultimate drive with everything on nothing. Okay, and we're going to click it on and see what we got. Obviously, there is no volume because the level's down. So let's try to get our volume about the same level. Okay, so that's about the same, all right? Now. a little bit of a crunch so let's just play around with the um, how about the gain here actually let's do the tone first and see what it sounds like very nice I would probably keep my tone right about center or just a little up for our harmonics. This has very little noise through the daisy chain. It'd probably sound better if I had a uh, nine volt in there, but. Having a little bit of latency there, but that's all right. Go ahead and change this a little bit, see if that'll work. Back to 44, 100 hertz. All right, now let's play around with the gain. If that's what that sounds like at about, what is that, 10 o'clock, that's gonna be awesome. But there is, obviously, with these type of pedals, you can probably hear that sound. And that will help if I turn the guitar down obviously it has some noise to it mess with the pickups it's going to have that so when you're done cut the thing off all right so here's what we got Okay, this is supposed to be a uh, um, a mimic of, excuse me, the full tone um, obsessive compulsive drive, the OCD. This thing sounds amazing for thirty something dollars, thirty one dollars. Okay, once again, you need to go back if you haven't seen, you know, the unboxing and the website screencast. It's all in the same video. Go back and check that out. Okay, it's uh, it's it's uh, some good stuff. All right, so. So let's play around some more with this stuff. We're going to put it back on the uh, pickup here. It's got some punch to it. It's got some meat. Let's bring it up a little more. So now we're at center. Okay, very nice. Once again, it's very nice and fat, and it kind of sounds like it's getting deeper in tone as you move the gain up. So if that becomes a problem, as you turn the gain up, turn the tone down just a hair, or up just a hair. You know, if it's if it's getting fatter, then turn the the tone up a little bit. Okay, very nice sound. Let's bring it up some more. Okay. 
very, very nice, thick, fat tone, guys. Um, has some nice, um, fuzzy sounds to it. Once again, the more gain you have, it seems like the tone gets deeper. Let's test that out, all right, before we go all the way to the, the max. So we're gonna put the tone right about middle. We're gonna bring the gain back down. And as we bring the gain up, let's listen if the tone changes at all, as far as, you know, making it fat or whatever. <laughs> Now I hear the, the tone changing significantly there. Actually has an effect on tone. Now I'm gonna mim uh, use my mouth to mimic what I'm hearing, okay? Let's see. So the further you get, the more it sounds like uh, the ooh of the wah pedal, and the further down you go with the gain, the more it opens up as an ah sound, the wah, okay? So as you move up, you need to probably adjust the tone. Depending on where you need the gain set, you're gonna need to set the gain, I'm guessing, first, and then adjust your tone, because when you mess with this, it's gonna adjust your tone. And give yourself a little bit of a, a slack, a little leeway. Adjust the tone right in the area where it's going to sound good if you have to come down or up just a hair, okay? So that's what I would do. All right, so. Already, this blows away the MXR pedal, okay? And uh, this was about $10, $20 cheaper. All right, so let's push this thing to the max, all right? Nice harmonics. If we push it up a little bit more, we'll have more harmonics. Okay, sounds really awesome, really powerful. Once again, we can mess with the level a little bit. Now the other thing you can use this for is a boost, okay? So I can turn the, tone, the gain down, push the level all the way up and adjust my tone and have a clean boost. So here's what the clean sounds like just by itself. Let's turn it up. We can turn it up just a hair for a little bit of tube screamer sound, maybe. So then when we come in. Sorry I'm playing A, that's just where I'm used to on electric guitar. All right, so we got that uh, whole idea. The next thing we need to do is experiment with this little switch here. Right now we're on the high setting. Let's go to the low setting and see what we got here. All right, so everything back, level up. Let's turn this low setting down. And now we have a brand new pedal. Alrighty, let's see the differences. High, low. Okay, let's turn the, the uh, tone up. the 
gang. Once again, this mimics the full tone OCD pedal, so it's going to have the same effect. Okay, very nice. I've just come up with that off the top of my head, Santa cool. That's why we're there indeed. Let's play around a little bit. Okay, let's push it up here. Uh, you can definitely hear a difference at the full max. Here's low on the, you know, this pickup here. Everything's coming through here. Yeah, it looks like it is. Here's high. Here's high with the tone a little higher. With the switch down. Okay, so we have a lot of possibilities here, this tone. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on high for now, and I'm going to enable some effects so we can hear what we're gonna sound like here. I'm gonna put some delay on here, a little bit of chorus. How about some flanger instead? The flanger sounds a lot better to me than the chorus. A lot more stereo-ish, all right? Now let's try it with some of this. Can't really hear the delay. Let's uh, bring the delay up just a little bit. Bring it more in the mix. Bring it up a little more. Thank you. 
Okay, let's take the flanger off, put some chorus on. Take the delay off. Show you that little um, thing I'm using there on this course off. Let's turn the uh, stuff down just a hair. All right. Let me show you that little uh, trick I'm using here. It's a really good trick for building. Uh, not not exactly speed. You can, but it's for um, just something I just came up with to help me get my coordination together. And uh, that is this little trick here. So let me find a good key here. Um, so let's start here at the um, let's get the sixth fret D string. We've got a half and then a whole. So five. It's a six, seven, nine, six, seven, nine on the next fret. And you're gonna go just three, you know. Six picks, strokes, alternating. And then instead of coming back down, you're going to go back to the first finger on the G string. And this is all alternate picking, the whole phrase is. Okay, so once you get there, back down to the D and then up on the G so we're gonna go first finger that's gonna be was it six six seven back down to nine back up on six and then back down and that leads you back to a downstroke. And my eyes are drying out, so that's why I'm winking at everybody. And you can practice this on all the scale shapes. Go back to this one once again six seven nine six seven nine and it's the whole way up then instead of coming back down to that middle finger go to the first walking up and then crossing over you might just want to practice that much and that's a downstroke by the time you get back to it it's a downstroke down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down. Now what I tend to do is do a little hammer on trill thing. If you're doing that, that's two downstrokes. Then up, resuming. So 
sometimes that happens uh, when you're lifting up that that can work to your favor if you need it to but it doesn't really kind of trip you up just a little bit so I don't recommend doing that It's hard to do and with that may shift in the guitar so back to a little bit more grunge here let's do this with a tone down see what it sounds like has a lot of fuzz to it you know for that red house sound you know I was trying to figure out that sequence earlier, something I could come up with. Sounds like this. And then you get to the B somehow. <laughs> I haven't figured that part out yet, guys. But anyway, that's the ultimate drive. My first impressions, initial impressions, I have to say this thing is a beast, all right? This thing has a nice clicky sound. Oops. Definitely comes in the signal, so. Very durable feeling, very nice. It's, it's not very heavy. It's pretty lightweight. Uh, hopefully I didn't get this thing out of the picture up there. You can plug it in with just a regular, this is a Godlock power supply, no daisy chain. This is just what it, it uses regularly. Um, you don't have to plug any extra power supply. It plugs right into it. Plenty of possibilities here. And you have seen and heard the tone quality of this machine, okay? Don't go out and spend 130 bucks on an OCD when you can get one that sounds to me awesome. In, in my ears, it sounds really awesome. Uh, for just $31. Right now, I think it's going for $33. But, I mean, it's totally worth it. You can spend that much money on a pedal, get your money's worth out of it, and totally enjoy it. Go for what your, it sounds good to your ears, okay? To me, this sounds amazing to my ears. I mean, I don't know what it, setting I'll have it on for the most of the time, but this is the tone I was, I was going for. Now, another one is called the Crunch Distortion from uh, Joyo, but uh, uh, I may get it later. I don't know. But it, uh, it's, it's got a little bit more of a sheen to it, for lack of a better word. So definitely check that out, guys. I'm going to get off here before the uh, video gets any bigger. Right now it's about 2.5 gigs. It just hit that mark, and I will shrink that down so it'll be better. I don't know how long we've been going, about 30 minutes. So this is uh, just a first impressions. Awesome pedal. Pick this up. I highly recommend it. You will not be sorry, all right? So... Enjoy it, and I will see you guys later on the flip side.
Sounds pretty good when you roll the volume down to you. 